It's time now for news with Channel 6 Big Bear and Village Radio 87.7 FM with John Fain. I'm John Fain. Coming up on Tuesday, that's August the 21st, it's the Farmer's Market at the Big Bear Convention Center, and that goes from 8.30 in the morning until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Enjoy fresh fruits, vegetables, and flowers. The Farmer's Market also features unique arts, crafts, and handmade items by local artisans. The market is at the Convention Center every Tuesday until September the 25th. For more information, call 909-585-3000 or visit BigBearEvents.com. Starting Thursday with a get-together at Chad's Place, the fourth annual Big Bear Adventure Weekend comes to the valley. The Big Bear Adventure Weekend 2012 is a unique event unlike any other, as it brings hundreds of men together from all over the world to take advantage of the activities and the natural beauty of the Big Bear Valley. Saturday night will be a dance at Northwoods featuring an 80s diva, and famed DJ John Williams. There will be several bars and an enormous dance floor. The event is open to the public and tickets are only $25 at the door. Doors open at 9.30 p.m. The Diva is at midnight. For more details, visit bbaweekend.com. bbaweekend.com. Friday sees the start of the Antique Wooden Boat Show at the Pine Knot Landing. The show takes place at Pine Knot Landing on Friday, August the 24th and Saturday, August the 25th with what has always been a beautiful display of antique and classic wooden boats. For more information, please call 909-844-5337. The landing is at 400 Pine Knot Boulevard. If you like to fish, then Saturday has just the event for you. It's Aaron's Big Bear Bass Tournaments, Big Bear Charter Fishing, and Big Bear Cool Cabins host the tournament. The event and the weigh-in will be held at Bee's Backyard Barbecue. For more details on this, please call 800-475-3166 or visit BigBearBassFishing.com, BigBearBassFishing.com. Bee's Backyard Barbecue is at 350 Alden Road, just off Big Bear Boulevard, about a quarter mile out of the village towards Big Bear City. The Big Bear Theater Project will present Treasure Island and Pento at the Discovery Center Amphitheater. That's 40971 North Shore Drive at 7 p.m. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, August 24, 25, and 26. Pento is usually done as a winter show, but it's really just to take off on an old story that's done in a bolsterous style. It's the same in many ways as melodrama, but Pento is the English way of referring to what is about the same kind of show. Lots of audience participation, booing, sighing, and calling out catchphrases should be a lot of fun for the whole family. It gets chilly at the amphitheater, so make sure to bring a sweater or a light jacket. For more information there, call BigBearTheaterProject.com, BigBearTheaterProject.com, or call 909-382-2790. Finally, Ron Seymour of Round Town with Ron passed away on Monday, August the 13th. A celebration of his life will take place starting at 6 p.m. on Thursday, August the 30th in the Convention Center at Big Bear Lake. Ron was born in 1929 and was raised in San Bernardino. He graduated San Bernardino High School and attended San Bernardino Valley College. He graduated from San Diego State with degrees in business and personal management. He worked for a while as a talent agent in San Diego for the USOs. He remembers booking a young Sammy Davis Jr. and escorting a young Miss San Diego around town. That lady went on to become Raquel Welsh. Ron's father was on the crew that brought the telephone lines to Big Bear in the 1920s, and his family bought a weekend home here in 1929 and visited many times. Ron moved permanently to the Big Bear Valley in late 1979. In his early years, he left California for Arizona and was director of the Yuma, Arizona Chamber of Commerce and a local country club. He op opened a Mexican restaurant there and a spaghetti factory. Returning to California, one of Ron's first ventures was to operate what is now Bee's Backyard Barbecue. That was back in the 1950s. In the Korean War, he joined the Air Force to see the world, but was transferred to Riverside, worked at March Air Force Base, and spent the war as a speechwriter for a local general. Ron started many local businesses, including the Super Shopper back in 1980. That was also the beginning of Round Town with Ron, which was a popular shopper column. He started the Cowboy Steakhouse in 1991, he started Sandy's Sports Bar and sold that in 1997, 
and he started the North Pole Fudge Company. He began with TV6 in the late 1990s. That was news here on TV6. Please make sure you tune in at the top of every hour for the latest in breaking news as we will bring it to you. Also, as you're out and about in the town during the day, in your car, in any kind of a vehicle, in the home, or in your business, tune in to Village Radio. That's 87.7 on your FM dial and keep in touch with what's, on, what's going on. Have yourself a great week. This has been Breaking News at the Top of the Hour with Channel 6 Big Bear and Village Radio 87.7 FM with John Fain.